Okay, let, let's dive back into another more imagery I was able to find. And let's just do some mapping real quick. But or importantly, this looks like it's mapping this way. You know, every indication of those cracks looks like it's going that way. This whole cantilever is falling down. You can see the out here through this opening. That would be above there. It's a porch there, but you can see that's the cantilever part, and it's it's all here, supported back on this bracing here into this column, which they have a larger larger. It comes out here's the column. And this column is larger. Here's the what they're bracing now. It's to your left. Let me get let me get rid of this and move it over just a little bit. Or started to brace or oh no not at all. <laughs> That's electrical. That's electrical. So um, okay, that's gonna be a good tell though. The electrical there to see if it's uh fractured anything, if it's moved any of the electrical wiring. If it's opened up the connections here, for example, you can look for. This is. I'm trying to zoom in on this column. I can't. But this looks like this 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 idea. This. Uh, I'm I'm starting to think that they built. This one last, not all four corners at the same time, if you will. That this was built first. And that this cross section, there was some rebar sticking out of this column. And they added this on. You could tell that if you could only get in here and, and, and get in here and start looking for seams. Um, when I say seams, I mean uh, dry um, cold joints like that. It's, so this one comes across. Now, maybe they built this this outer one. It look, you can see the different coloration in the concrete. Maybe they, they got too soon on to got too I don't know too soon doing that uh this this cantilever this 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 stage right here hold on this staging right here this concrete right here and this curement would have been the rebar going that way and so you know I like I like I like to say it's deflecting but this darn steel looks so flat you know it look it looks so good let's take another look at that it looks so good all right looking back at the efflorescence and this is long-term water damage so these fractures have been here for some time these fractures they've been they've been here for quite some time to build up the salts like that or the, the reaction and it looks like it maps like that it's still very tight it maps like that and it just seems like the overhang is just so much now we're, we're in here real tight they put a nice little chamfer on it um, this is not, this is just a plywood butt, a plywood butt. I don't see any patchwork or anything done. I'm looking for it. Um, the person who said they just noticed this, this, this was going on for years. This is, I don't know why it's being reported now. Um, it's very interesting on its own. Yeah, you know, I just don't see this, you know, things I'm looking for, like the connection here to, to, you know that we see some deflection but i'm looking for something i shouldn't be looking for because this beam the fractures are, are so tight that it really even if you add up all the all of the fractures you know two millimeters there or two here i still don't get enough to uh to do anything besides change the outer beam profile like this it's it's dipping down i say the outer beam uh i don't know if you call it a this the uh, spandrel detail, or you'd call this the uh, I'm not sure what to what to describe it as, but it connects it closes in the the cantilever, 
and then these get hung on it, these panels. So someone said, I don't see any prefab stuff on here. All right, chill out, chill out. Here's the, these are the anchors that lift up the prefab panels. And those are the, um, I think it's part of the prefab system that it also locks it in. This might be bolted down. Okay, so those are just big concrete panels. Start yank yanking them off. But now we look for that. We want to see this outside, see if we can find any fractures in this panel. You know, anything that would indicate that. And I guess we're too soon to indicate. These holes are, uh, I'm going to have fun. They're from mice because you'd always have to have a place for mice to go. Um, when the plywood was there, it's the snap ties of a system. Could be th bolted rods going through. Uh, I don't know how they did it. Um, probably thread, probably a rebar with some uh, clamp system on it. They're not that big. All right, so looking back at this again, I'm looking at the underside. So the water, this appears, this is out towards us. This this section, so this section here and here. So it's implying that it's some rotation, a twisting action. Let's see, that would be from the, the bottom this way. But this looks flat here. They really need a surveyor out there to really survey this and really figure out what's going on. Figure out every bit of the elevations here. And figure out why just this one in particular is intercepting the loads. I could have this panel pushing out, rotating, so it'll be rotating out, uh, road, or going down, and that would get you your open fractures. So let's see, mapping, mapping, mapping. This one goes all the way across. That one goes all the way across, picking up on the other side. Hmm. Here's a more intense look at it, and I thought this was a fracture here. I'm not too sure anymore. But this this fracture, and specifically this, is indicating of either your, uh, your silica reaction or a twisting buckling action going on there. And then we got this one. Let's just map it. This one goes all the way to the top. All the way to the top. So I'm going to pick on that one a lot. This one comes across to steel. So there's a stirrup system here more than likely like that. And this went beyond the stirrups. Let's say it's an inch and a half of cover. It's pretty much right at the top of this one. Let me clear it up and take a look at that. This is maps above. Maps above. Maps above. Um, might map to there. Um, efflorescence. Efflorescence meaning this is long term. Uh, a little filler strip they had when they built the forms. Um, hmm. Let's push over to your left a little bit. This happens, you know, this this part here because you can't get the concrete down there, vibrate it, consolidate it, so you'll get this uh, honeycomb, honeycombing going on. Um, so we'll let that ride. Now I don't see my fracture going across. I'm at another beam. I might add a, another another beam because now I'm like this. This one's like this. And this one's like this. Remember, stirrups are probably in here like this, spacing I don't know, 12 inches apart. And then maybe maybe they ran the whole thing 12. Here's our joint, our extension out. 2 by 12s, 2 by 6, 4 by 4. I don't know what that is. And they decided to make this more girthy, more w the width of it. Let's see if we can find the smoking gun hiding around here. Here's the panel. 
being secured. There's a little bit of separation, but I would need to see more of these together. Um, more of these. All right, so again. Again. This beam is done. This beam is done. They need to they need to get rid of this thing until they figure this out. This is not something you're going to figure out easily without sampling, core sampling. It's long term. Um, do they have the still data on this one on the reports? Ah, uh, you shouldn't me. Um, looks like a shim plate with some welding so there's a plate that goes across for this gap here and they weld it here and here okay let's look at this reveal here it's going to be a little different I don't have it okay so that's actually I don't know. How and we're following breaking news. Chopper six over breaking news happening that. in Sunrise. So let's go ahead and put the stirrups in here. Let's just go something like twelve inch on center, right? So we do the, the stirrups. Hmm. This zone here is 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 error free, if you will. Now we map the the, the fractures across them, across the stirrups. And I think this one goes like that, right? A little triangle. Huh. Looks like a patch. Right here. Um mapping it. I'm gonna follow this efflorescence line. It's so weird where, you know, the rotation could be there. That this system, I really don't know, you know, how it's set up. But did it intercept this damn cantilever? All the loads are supposed to be back here. Did it intercept it? If it did, well, then the short span of it, see, this is why it's debunking. So the short span would be, mm, let's change colors on that. Then the short span would be here. And I wouldn't expect to see the fractures around here because this is supported here to here it's a short span the cantilever is where i would expect to see the root the fractures you know around around there and going out we don't see them that way that's why i'm coming back to um this concrete design this concrete design being an issue out of this out of this batch I, you know they didn't seal it they didn't put a, a white uh, coating on this. I think it's part of Florida's uh, specifications. Like there, I think. Maybe they did. Maybe just too soon. Everything matters. What day they poured it on? Was it too hot? Was it raining? What the hell was going on with this mix? What the hell was going on with this mix? So just so you, you have an idea, I would theorize, even though it's very high, I mean, it's, it, it is very high. I'm going to concede that. But the rebar is probably right about there. So it's a significant amount of cover. And on this one, um, I see this patch. Let me outline this patch. Okay. Let's just do that. On this one... I can see a turn here, so I'm going to do that when I remove it. So maybe the rebar is right there and then the hangers are, are there. Now, I don't think they used hangers like this, but let me just put it out there for an option. As opposed to using hangers. Like that. I don't think they used hangers like this. Hey, but it's an option to inspect, to check to see if they did. 
you know, that would give us all this funkiness also. What's the layout? But they again, they, they're not up there with with uh, the equipment to to actually determine the rebar at this point. And they're supposed to be done by the weekend. That'd be pretty impressive uh, if they get their ass moving. Okay, I found something very critical to prove my rotation. You see the way the, it's only on this side. I, you know, and I see this. It's like it, it tells me that water came down, hits it. It's like a waterfall goes over it and then drips down. This is the shelf it creates. So shelf, shelf, as I look at efflorescence frequently, which means that to me that this whole beam, let's do it this way, is a, has a rotation going on. In this case, I'm going to torque it this direction. I'm going to torque it that direction. On the outside, I'm going to give the rotation. That, so we have that long beam. I'll support this in just a moment. But I'm going to have this outside spandrel area rotating. Um, and I'm going to have it rotating. Um, oops. I think I'll have it rotating this direction as we look at it from here. I'm going to have it rotating to the right. And I'm going to use this right here. Look at this right there. Indicating this thing is twisting. Twist, twist, twist. There's a torque on it. Even though, there's a torque on it, even though we're looking at it there. So as this is in this cantilever faction, it's not distributing the load just straight. It, it's torqued. It's twisting. And so we're looking at a, I mean, it's at alignment right there. It's definitely, uh, um, twist. I'm going to call it for you guys. Torque. Okay, so this would be the uh, stationary side, right? Stationary end for the most part. And then this side is our rotation right to there. This is our rotation. Our rotation end. Yep, so no matter what, I know this is... That spandrel, the outside of the wall, somehow it's creating a, a torque on this, a rotation. I'm looking at it right there, right here. So just trying to theorize how would you get there from here, that this outer wall was put on. I'm not adding wind load or anything else like that. And over time it creeped and made itself flat and but its version of flat is not was not square okay so if i can do that like that this 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 was not square with this beam here and so as this outer wall creeped over time a short period of time it settled down created this ro a, ro a flatness if you will uh well, it became an equilibrium flat and that's where we get the torque, the whole rotation back there. And these are just all rotational fractures. So I'm going to say it started from that end. And then it passed it on, passed it on, passed it on back to here, even back down to there. So this, this, this is our people like smoking guns. That little one right there tells of the rotation.